This box lets you turn any wired peripheral into a wireless one. Let's check it out. Dave Taylor here with my brother printer. And this is a nice little laser printer with one exception. It only works in wired mode. So every time I wanna print something, I have to plug in my computer to the printer. And then it prints, works great, but I've really been dreaming of having it be wireless. Enter this simple little box. This is the Shiozet wireless print server. And I'll tell you, it was a bit of a bear to set up, but now that I have it set up, let me demonstrate. I'm gonna just go onto my PC, and obviously you can see that there are no wires. My PC is running in completely wireless mode, and we are going to try to print out a page. And what happens is that the complication is with setup, but once you have it set up, then this runs as essentially a virtual USB connection. So I'm going to choose the printer and I'm choosing the wireless version of it. And I'm gonna talk about the configuration because that's important, but we're gonna just choose this. I'm just gonna print the first page. So we'll just do that. And I'm gonna send the printout and with any luck, this will then send it to here, which is then plugged in. You see this gold wire. So this is plugged into this printer. So it does, the printer does get its plugged in connection, but it does it with that internet connectivity service. Now, check it out. So what's happening is that it took a couple of seconds to sort of get everything all working, but the page I printed is indeed the page that's on the computer. So that actually is like right off the bat, there's my demo. So it does work. It was not easy to get it set up, but let me tell you a little bit about it. I'm gonna tell you a little bit about how to get it to configure correctly and give you a really important tip that they don't mention in their manual, but they will soon, I hope. Um, but it's a virtual USB connection. I'm gonna unplug it so you can see from the back that it gives you a power connection and it has two ethernet jacks and one USB port. And they also have a version with three USB ports, but I got this one and why two ethernet jacks? And the idea is that you can use this as a sort of pass through on your wired internet connection. So how this might work is if you have a router sitting say in an office or in the basement or something, you can plug this directly into the router, plug the printer directly into this, and then when you're anywhere in the house, you can do wireless printing. Very slick. Now, a lot of modern printers and other peripherals actually do wireless connectivity, but this lets you use all of your existing peripherals. So that's very handy. And it supports printers and scanners. They have to be on the local network. And it also has, as you can tell, a fully wireless mode because I don't have this hooked up via ethernet to anything else in my office. So what I have is I have this on the Wi-Fi network. So then any device, I can see this and then I can add the printer and then I can just go and use that as if this had a wireless mode. So it's really a nice retrofit. So let's talk about that configuration. So what I wanna do is I wanna show you some screenshots because trust me, you don't wanna hear everything I was saying as I was going through the configuration. When you first hook it up, the first thing you need to do is use your web browser to go to the shiozet.local and then that brings up the administrative interface to the box. So here you can see it sees the printer hub in this first screen and then I join my local wireless network, which is called AIRIX, and that gets the box online. Then there is a separate program which you really, really wanna download called their Quick Install app, and I have a link to it in the description for this video. So there I picked the printer hub in the install guide, and then it saw 
that the printer was plugged in. But here's the critical piece. For it to work smoothly, in my experience, you want to actually plug the printer directly into your computer and then add it as a printer so that you get all the printer drivers you need. Then you unplug the printer and then you plug it into the wireless print server and that's how I got to this step and it recognized the printer and it didn't need any additional drivers. Then it installed correctly and you can see that it's given it the name Brother HL L2400D printer, but then in parentheses it's added print box underscore UB USB 1. So yeah, it's not the most pleasant of names, but it's entirely functional and it's actually accurate. So then finally, when I'm in Windows and I'm looking at my printers and scanners, you can see that I have the Brother printer that's offline because it's not plugged in and the Brother Printer print box, and that's the one that is online, and that's the one I'm using. I admit, it was not the easiest configuration in the world, and there was some trial and error for me to get this to the point where it actually did work, but it did work, it does work, and it's a really elegant solution to a significant hassle, which is that if you have wired peripherals, it's really nice to make them wireless peripherals. And I will say that Shiozet says that it supports 99% of printers, including inkjet, laser, thermal, and dot matrix printer. If you have a dot matrix printer, congratulations. It's seriously retro. <laughs> also can support scanners, flash drives, and cameras. And it is actually compatible with Mac and Windows as long as the device you have plugged in is also compatible with Mac and Windows. So, you know, it's gonna just relay and do that virtual USB connection. So, pretty smart, pretty elegant. So, 4.5 inches by 3.4 inches by just an inch and a bit tall. Easy to work with, it does need its own power supply, but it gives you the ability to change your network topology. So you can have this right next to your Wi-Fi base station, have your printer tucked away somewhere and always sitting and ready for you, but you never have to go into that room to print, you just go into that room whenever you need to pick up your printout, much better. So it's really everything I got. It is challenging to get it configured and working correctly, but it's worth the hassle. And if you go through the stuff I've advised, I think you'll be able to do okay with it, but it's worth the hassle because this is a really nice way to take a peripheral that doesn't have internet connectivity or Wi-Fi connectivity and boom, give it that. So one more thing as I'll show you on the front, there are a lot of LEDs that gives you a lot of data but you can also go to the shiozet.local in your web browser and get to all of that configuration too. And a handy security tip, go in there and change the admin password for this device from the word admin to any other word at all. So this is gonna be network accessible. So you wanna actually have your admin be some other word. Honestly, you can even just tape it to the box because you're not gonna have people in your house that you worry about. It's gonna be people on the internet itself. So do that, you'll thank me. So definitely one that's worth checking out. Now, we are gonna talk about the price. Before we get there, I'm gonna ask you to subscribe to my channel. Click or tap on that subscribe button Hit that bell icon for notifications and don't forget to check out my videos when you get those notifications. And give me a thumbs up if you found this of value and obviously I really hope that you did. So, this is the Shiozet Wireless Print Server and it is $72.89 at Amazon.com. And if you're like me and you have peripherals that aren't network ready, this solves that problem and they have a version with three USB plugs instead of one. So you could plug in multiple devices and have them all suddenly be accessible wirelessly in your office or your small home office or in your home. What a great solution. That's all I got. I'm gonna go back to work and I'm knowing that I can now print wirelessly, sweet. So that's it. Hope to catch you in my next video.